Hi, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be opening this uh, WD West Digital Easy Store. This is a 2021 model, uh, 14 terabyte uh, external drive. I'm going to be opening this um, so that I can get the hard drive that is inside of it. Uh, this this process is also called shugging uh, or shugging, whichever um, way you pronounce it. So basically, it's a process of taking out the hard drive inside uh, so that you can use it in a computer, in a network area storage, NAS, server, etc. Um, the uh, the rumors, or actually I have confirmed this a few times if you check around, uh, the hard drive that is inside usually is actually a premium hard drive. Uh, it is being sold usually cheaper in an external drive like this. And uh, the warranty on external drive is two years, so uh, that's a little bit less than the uh, OEM premium that you would buy if you would buy the, the, the drives just separately. So they're selling it for a cheaper price uh, and having less warranty. But supposedly these white labels are in there, in here are actually the same usually as the red um, server quality drive. So there's a particular purpose of opening this as carefully as possible because in case something goes wrong within the two-year period, you do want to have the um, the chance to put it back. So you do want to uh, keep as much as possible all of this intact and be able to put the hard drive back in case you need to uh, do a warranty claim within the two-year period. Okay, so to open this, um, basically there are a few clips all around the back here. I think there's two here, two here. Um, and there's a rail system on the top and the bottom. So what we're trying to do is just slightly make a gap on the left side here, facing that way, and a gap here, like if I'm prying this uh, open this way, just enough for me to put a few credit cards into this um, the opening. Once I get the credit card inside the opening, um, I'm gonna try to get my knife in um, where I can push or kind of like twist and push this uh, the inside so there's two parts of this there's there's the cover which is like a u-shaped plastic shell and then there's the uh, entire inside so we're trying to push the inside or um, I guess lever it out um, this way so that it kicks out to the back and once it kicks out about I would say quarter of an inch you are actually off the um, um, the clips already and then you can easily take it out okay so that's the uh, the process okay so if you have a plastic prying tool like the one that you use to um, take out uh, or to repair iPhone and things like that you better use that unfortunately I do not have all my tools right now I'm at a hotel room and uh, I need to um, to get the hard drive from inside here so I'm using a leather knife a, a leatherman knife which is metal and this is not recommended but uh, all, I'm gonna, all I'm doing is, is just trying to get my fingernail in there to, to, so that I can get my knife in there and I'm just trying to get some of the area here to pop so just enough for me to just kind of put it in there and then just twist it you'll hear a pop um, just slightly around here and then the, once you have that kind of open yeah, actually this one is not popping so I'm just gonna open it a little bit where I can get my credit card in there. So just that right there. I'm gonna put a card in there. Okay, I, I feel that the tap is there. So I'm gonna move it a little bit more down. There, so I can get my credit card in there. And then um, moving down slightly, um, using my card. Or extra leverage so definitely there's a tap in here and I don't want to break that tap so I'm going to move a little bit further down and I can feel another tap in there okay so that's gonna be loosening up that, that part right there. Don't pull it all the way up yet because you do not want to break the tab. Okay, so just uh, keep the credit card one here 
and I'm gonna insert another one right here and then we're gonna start working on the other side since I'm using a metal tool I'm very careful of actually putting my fingernail in first before I put in the uh, the knife because the knife will make an indentation on the actual plastic so we don't want to make it too obvious that we are actually shugging the drive okay so that one right there you can put the credit card here all right all right so now that I can actually uh, get my knife in there pretty easily and this is the process where I'm going to be uh, using the gap here for leverage and to twist this part out okay so I'm trying to twist this part out and uh, I'm gonna be doing it on this side also kind of like leveraging it out like that and do the top also move the credit card over this side and then do it on the top so you see that is 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 pushing back all right so once everything is pushed back like that you're ready to just pull it out it's just a slide as you can see all the taps are intact and over here we did very minimal damage um, a few taps are bent, but they're not that bad. Okay. And that's it. You got the drive right here. And uh, usually this is, like I said, this is a white label drive. But you can totally reuse this because um, this is, uh, if you look up the serial number and all that, sometimes it shows actually as a, uh, a red quality drive um, so from here you still have to be very careful removing this um, you just want to kind of pry it up on one side because usually it's easy to remove this you pry it up on one side as carefully as possible and then pull it out we need to unscrew this and the rest of these things here just comes out once you unscrew this, you can just wiggle this connector out and you have the bare drive. Um, okay, remember to keep all the hardware just in case you need to remove, I mean, you need to uh, claim warranty and you have to put it, everything back together. Okay, so that just removes just like that. And once that's removed, I remove all the rubber and then we can just uh, this one use some kind of torque screw I do not have my torque screw set so I'm just gonna use the plier it's not very tight so you can just twist it once you get it loose you can just use your hand to uh, to remove it so all you do is just get it loose and you can just use your hands, fingers to unscrew them. That's it. The entire drive. And uh, make sure you put it inside a anti-static bag so that uh, it doesn't get damaged before you use it. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful. And um, if you do, please uh, share it and like it. And please consider subscribing to my channel for useful content and tips like these. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.